Good evening, everybody. Uh, once again, Pajigero coming up with the new unboxing video. So I just got this uh, DHL pouch. So let's get to it. I got my trusted unboxing cuchillo. These products are brought to you by Wolf Tooth. Not sponsored with any means, but if you're out there, yeah, hit me up. All right. We got three items for you. Hopefully, I can break uh, each and every one as we go on. And then we have the Barkit one. So this is the NK system. So this one is kind of neat. It's a bike tool, of course. So it goes in inside the uh, the handlebars. So kind of uh, interested to see how it looks like. Pretty much the uh, most interesting purchase that I did out of this week. Yeah, by the looks of it, Wolf Food is a quality brand. So let's break it down. Okay. All right. Up next, it's got a little shout out Corona. Shout out to Corona 2021. <laughs> okay. So next one is your NK system from Wolf Food, and this is the Barket One. So I opted for this because it's somewhat sleek. You can tuck it uh, at the end of your handlebar. Unlike uh, other systems, I think one up does the uh, the one right by the uh, head stem. And there's some uh, that goes on the crank uh, crank case too. So yeah, try a different one. Looks like it's nice and sleek. And I could just easily stow it wow, whenever I need. So let's get to it. Let's open the packaging. And with my trusted uh, uh, unboxing cuchillo. All right. Plastic uh, lever comes off. It says squeeze size uh, below cap. So oh, just like that. Ooh, look how sleek it is. So, uh, looks like an anodized uh, metal end cap with a rubber rib in there. Uh, comes with a plastic sheet, rubber plastic sheet that goes in. So you pull, I guess, take this, the whole thing off and just figure out how to undo it. So. Let's see. So this is the, um, which what, like the chain ring, uh, or the uh, the chain adjuster, remover. Um, uh, I think this one uh, screws down, so it's somewhat uh, uh engraved here with wolf tooth. Some uh linear wood like graining onto this end which is a nice touch it says end case and then it's made in usa so unscrew this part comes with your uh like your tire rubber inserter that comes with these bunch of loads here this is your rubber plugs Let's see how it comes off so maybe I'll use this end to pop it out just like that so it comes with uh, five rubber plug-ins in there beneficial especially I'm looking to to uh, convert to tubeless for this year's ride Friends have been crazy about those, so I'm gonna jump in and try it on. Uh, yeah, so it comes tilted as well. You put in uh, the hex here, probably a four or five, twist it around so that it pops out one of the uh, uh, one of those bars that hold uh, onto the chain ring, and then 
I think you can house the uh, the master link here, but I'm not sure where. So there's that one. Uh, this is trimmable, so depends on, uh, depends on um, what your bar looks like. You can tr uh, it has like lines here. You can trim around it to adjust to uh, conformity, and then. Uh, surprising that this can go on to uh, one of those road bikes uh, handle like the curb handles it conforms it like so, so it conforms to the tubular end of the bar which is neat uh, which one drop bar fit kit not sure what it is but it looks like a rubber film around it optional okay there's that there's the reuse this tube to fill the fuel bottle with your preferred snack I guess it means this squeeze the bottle to open it yes Hex moisture and then all the details here for the MK system so you have have your hex bit uh, hex bit wrench 14 tools chain and tire plug which I just showed you uh, storage sleeves uh, or other small things in your handlebar and then the market one yeah so there is that so here's the other one pop this one out yeah kind of surprising that it's just so small and compact to start with so has a couple rubber rings that holds the uh, the the bits We'll try and pull out. Hopefully, I don't break it. Yes. All right. So you got spoke for yeah, for adjusting your spoke little fork there, and then some bits. And I believe this is magnetized, so you can put your bit other bit in here, and then or you can click it on to wherever bar bar so it doesn't get lost, and then you pop the. Uh, hex bit on maybe this end first yeah that's a size 8 hex to start with and then you can turn yeah just neat and then you can do your adjustments yeah so one two three four five of course there are double ends too so like I said it's 14 so I don't have to count it and then neat thing is this one's magnetized too, so you can pop those things in and it, it secures well onto the case. And this goes just one way, it depends on how, how what the sizings for for the bits are. Yeah. Flexes like that. Yeah, it has a ratchety feel. Magnetized like I mentioned, so it's nice. This is aluminum, I'm guessing, because it's anodized, so you don't don't click on that, but you can click it on any metal, which is neat. Yeah. All right. Place this. See if I can fit this onto our bar. Yeah. All right, and it's also also gives you a notice here. Do not force the sleeve in the handlebar, they should slide in with one finger. If the sleeve binds at all during installation, the trim trim the sleeves or double check to make sure the tool is oriented correctly. So, alright, let's feed uh, both of these bad boys in, see what's up, okay? Okay, so here's what I did. So, I end up trimming a lot of rubber around it, so... One point it was uh, overlapping around here, uh, but then this rubber rings that uh, secure the the bits is girthy enough to to be placed in inside the uh, the bar. So I had to trim it all the way down. Probably like a good flap of this was taken off. All the rubber trimmings are here, <laughs> and then. I have to trim the the rubber collars around because it 
won't fit. I tried to trim half of it and uh, and the, this one got stuck right in the side so I had to have uh, like an extra effort to bring it out so yeah it was a uh, it wasn't really as smooth as I thought it would uh, be to have this one fitted but yeah with some patient like I, I commend them for leaving uh, a bigger flap to trim to do your custom trim but then I well I guess if it's aimed to fit most of the bars so, or all, all of the bars from there it's just uh, painstaking to to do all the trimming uh, by itself so I, I just did one right now and then plus you have to consider what you have in your handlebar so take a look uh, light flashlight in there and see what it look like I have a custom bar, bar here so so it does have some ridges uh, uh, behind the uh, the leveled markers for trimming so after that it goes narrower so it's wide on the uh, the distal end and then it goes narrow from the inside so it's just one of the, one of the things that you have to consider and then yeah so and then I end up uh, nicking some parts already right here, right in here, right under. It's just to pry the uh, or pull the bar out again. So this is the best fit that I could make of. And then maybe down the road I'll try to Dremel this rubber ring so it has like a smoother fit. But other than that, it should fit good. Let me just flush this guy in towards the end, leaving this end a little bit squishy. Introduce the bar, have the right orientation where the uh, bar cap would end up. Of course I like it uh, uh, upright so that it's readable from the side. Push it in, jam it in, and then yeah just have a little effort to pop it out again but then like i said i'll custom trim it after just to fine tune the the end fitting in here i just don't want it popping out uh, whenever i go on the trails because you have to be focused when you're writing down and that's the last thing that you want don't want uh, it to be happening when all of a sudden your $160 uh, tool went flying off the bar okay but other than that it's nice and secure I'll try to bring this grip closer to the end and then that's it for the right hand I haven't done my left yet so stay tuned okay thanks for bearing with me okay so update on the fitment Let's see if I can pull it up Like I said, it's not perfect at the moment, but give me a chance, maybe a day or two, I'll try to trim um, the rubber rings around here. Uh, the rubber flap, I've pretty much done the same thing, only a lesser amount. I think uh, on the other side, I had to trim it around here just because of the rubber uh, ring that holds the... the uh, the bits so other than that this is just a tad narrower so goes in like this the rubber sheet and then it's supposed to be just a one finger action to take it off and on so but issue is the rubber that connects the end cap to the rubber sheet has a tiny fold around it plus the rubber rings to to seal it so at the moment it will be like this and just have to suffer on pulling it out just to stress uh, to you guys that there's this divot here the main purpose is to so that you can easily swipe it out but it's not gonna happen right now but yeah at the moment that's my take with uh, the both two 
end case system. All right, hopefully this gets uh, mostly used on the trails with me along the way. So next up will be the uh, the uh, what you call it the wolf tooth dropper pose lever integrated into my Magura MT7. All right, stay tuned. All right, cheers, guys. Uh, we're down to part three of three of this wolf tooth uh, components uh, installation. Next up is our wolf tooth. Uh, uh, dropper pulse lever component. So this guy has the Magura bracket on so you can integrate it together with my MT7 HC3 here leaving me with this one unclamp off the bar. It's just giving more space with my handlebars plus it's just neither. Um, same thing with what it did over this end here. It's almost like a like an SRAM matchmaker. Um, so I I kind of forgot how what they uh, termed this, but it's an empty like it's a Magura clamp um, that integrates your SRAM uh, shifter. Okay, so pretty much the same idea. Replaces that. I'm gonna get rid of my M again compared to the other one. This one is an original piece but doesn't have the uh, M logo on there. So this one replaces it, gets rid of another clamp here, and plus I'm due to uh, change my um, dropper post here, lever. It's just not responding with my Fox transfer Kashima coating tube so i'm hoping that this one cures it if not i have to change my cable hopefully not all right let's get to the install okay 